Hello everyone, I am back with my friend and today we are going to concentrate on the lower part of the body and we are going to see what are the different bones that are present in the hind limb. At the same time, we are also going to talk about the hip bones. So let's get started and have a look at the different bones that make up the pelvic girdle and our hind limb. Let us start with the hind leg and we will start with this bone which is known as the femur. Now femur is usually the longest bone of the human body and this is also called the thigh bone. As you can see there is one end of the femur which has this ball like head and with this ball like head it fits to the cavity present inside or in the hip bone. So that forms a ball and socket joint. So this is the ball like head of the femur. We do not see this in humerus. Humerus and femur, humerus is the uh, bone of the, the first bone of the hand and femur is the first bone of the leg. So humerus being much smaller than the femur and femur has this prominent round head which the humerus does not have. Now if you look at this bone, this bone also has another end where you find this kind of two projections and on one end there is only one head and on the other hand there are two projections. So this is the end towards the knees where we see that the femur joins with the next bone which forms our calf or the shin. This is known as the tibia and fibula. If you look at the tibia and fibula, they are two bones. One of them is quite feeble, that is why it's called the fibula and this is the tibia which forms the shin bone. Now if you look at the uh, tibia from the side you can see it has a slightly triangular or pyramidal structure that gives a kind of a ridge here which you can feel when when you feel the lower part of your hind leg and just in front of your lower part of your hind leg you can feel this ridge so when you feel the front of your lower part of your hind leg you can feel this ridge now on the other side as you can see the tibia and the fibula they remain attached to the femur and the region that they remain attached to the femur this forms a hinge joint. What is a hinge joint? We have explained this before that hinge joints are those joints which can only move in one direction. So they can as you can see they can only fold in one direction like you can fold your knees but then if you try to fold them in the opposite direction they don't go. So you see this is stuck, it does not go in the opposite direction. So this is how a hinge joint works. And to make this a hinge joint, this bone which is a loose bone, this is known as the patellar bone, rests on the junction where the femur meets the tibia and fibula. If you look at the fibula here, the fibula is attached to the joint here in the knee joint the fibula is still there it is not that it is only attached to the tibia it is attached to the tibia but it also forms the joint here part of the joint and it ends in the ankle talking about the ankle the ankle and the heel it is not very clearly seen here but as you can see in this picture it is made up of a number of small bones which are known as tarsals and then we have five of these long bones which are known as metatarsals and on top of the metatarsal the uh, finger bones or the phalanges are attached. Again here this is not very precise or uh, clean so therefore we can use this picture where we can see that these bones form the these are the tarsals this form your foot that is the metatarsal and then you have your toes which are known as the phalanges. So those are the parts of the hind limb of the human being and that is how it looks. Let us have a look at the pelvic girdle which we also known as our hip. Now this is the pelvic girdle and it is made up of two halves. As you can see this is one half of the pe pelvic girdle and this is another half of the pelvic girdle. Now each of these halves they are known as the coxal bones. So this is one coxal bone here, this is another coxal bone here or they are also known as the innominate bones. Now these innominate bones are made up of three bones combined together. So first if you look at this bone, this bone here, this is known as the ilium. 
this bone entire bone here this is known as the ilium this is the first part of the innominate bone the ilium is joined by a circular by, by a bone here here this one which is known as the ischium the joint between the ilium and the ischium is highly calcified and it's an immovable joint so ilium and ischium are almost fused together and last but not the least here we have the pubis the pubis bones are, are in contact with each other so the pubis bone of this part of the pelt pelvic girdle and the pubic bone of this part of the pelvic girdle they remain in contact with each other now here you can see two more things one this cavity this cavity is known as the acetabular cavity now what is the function of this cavity this cavity is responsible for forming the ball and socket joint with the femur and you can see this is the head of the femur and this is how the head of the femur attaches to this cavity that is the acetabular cavity so that the femur attaches to the acetabular cavity like a ball and socket joint and that gives it a capacity of rotation through 180 degrees. Now here you can also see this complete foramen here this is known as the obturator foramen. This is the opening through which the blood vessels and nerves from the upper part of the body can pass and go towards your leg. So this opening allows the movement of the nerves and blood vessels. For instance, if you consider this as the blood vessel, so the blood vessel can enter through the obturator foramen and go towards the leg. So that is how the obturator foramen helps. Those were the parts of the pelvic girdle and the parts of the hind limb. So that was all about today's video. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned from it. Do check out the courses on our website manochaacademy.com and our Android app Manocha Academy. Links are given below. We have courses on physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics, coding and artificial intelligence. In these courses you will get concept videos, live classes, quizzes, mock tests and revision notes. So they will be perfect for your exam preparations. Links are all given below. Do hit the like button and share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, go ahead and smash the subscribe button right now and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. Stay connected with Manoch Academy and let's keep learning.